This is part 1 of Angular 2 tutorial. This is the introduction to Angular 2. In this video, we look at a few benefits provided by Angular 2 and why should we use it while many developers are already using Angular 1. We know Angular 1 was released in October 2010 and it is by far the most popular JavaScript framework available for creating web applications. Many developers are already using Angular 1. So the obvious question that comes to our mind is, why should we use Angular 2? Well, the first thing to keep in mind is that Angular 2 is not a simple upgrade from Angular 1. Angular 2 is completely rewritten. So it has a lot of improvements compared with Angular 1. So let's take a look at few of these improvements. Performance. From a performance standpoint, Angular 2 has faster initial loads, change detection and improved rendering time. Not just performance, we also have improved modularity, dependency injection and testability. If all these technical terms doesn't make sense at the moment, don't worry, we'll discuss all these in great detail in our upcoming videos. One important thing to keep in mind is that, according to Angular Conference Meetup, Angular 2 is 5 times faster compared to AngularJS 1. Mobile support. Angular 1 was not built for mobile devices. It's possible to run Angular 1 on mobile, but we'll have to use third-party frameworks for that. Angular 2, on the other hand, is designed from the ground up with mobile support in mind. Mobile device features and limitations like touch interfaces, limited screen real estate, and mobile hardware have all been considered while designing Angular 2. So with Angular 2, we can build a single application that works across mobile and desktop devices. Component-based development. Component-based development is the future of web development. In Angular 2, everything is a component. Components are the building blocks of an Angular application. The advantage of the component-based approach is that it facilitates greater code reuse. And from a unit testing standpoint, the use of components make Angular 2 more testable. We'll discuss what a component is and how to build components with examples in detail in our upcoming videos. Another benefit is with Angular 2, we've got more language choices. We can use any of these programming languages to build an Angular 2 application. We can use ECMAScript 5 or ECMAScript 6. ECMAScript 6 is officially renamed to ES2015. So keep in mind these two terms, ECMAScript 6 and ES2015 might be used interchangeably. And then we have TypeScript. Besides these three programming languages, we also have Dart, PureScript, Elm, and some other languages as well. Among all these languages, TypeScript is the most popular language. Keep in mind, Angular 2 itself is built using TypeScript. TypeScript has great support for ECMAScript 6 standard. The obvious questions that come to our mind at this point are, what is TypeScript and what is ECMAScript? So let's answer these questions now. First, let's understand what is ECMAScript. The JavaScript language standard is officially known as ECMAScript. Over the past several years, many versions of ECMAScript were released, starting with ECMAScript version 1 all the way till ECMAScript version 7. Most modern browsers that are available today support ECMAScript 5. The browser support for ECMAScript 6 is still incomplete. However, a process called transpilation compiles ECMAScript 6 to ECMAScript 5 that most browsers can understand. ECMAScript 6 is officially known as ECMAScript 2015 and it has introduced several new features like classes, modules, arrow functions, etc. We'll discuss all these features with examples in detail in our upcoming videos. If you're interested in learning more about ECMAScript standard and what these different versions have to offer, please refer to this Wikipedia article. Now, let's understand what is TypeScript. TypeScript is a free and open source programming language developed by Microsoft. It is a superset of JavaScript and a process called transpilation compiles TypeScript to JavaScript that the browsers can understand. Using TypeScript to build Angular applications provide all these benefits. 
we know TypeScript has great support for ES2015 standard. So when we use TypeScript to build Angular applications, we can also use object-oriented features like classes, interfaces, and inheritance. If you have any experience with object-oriented programming languages like C Sharp or Java, then learning TypeScript is very easy. Because of all these benefits, creating, maintaining, and refactoring Angular applications using TypeScript can be an enjoyable experience. So naturally, TypeScript has become the number one choice of many developers for developing Angular applications. In this course, we will be using TypeScript as the programming language. So the obvious question that comes to our mind is, should I learn TypeScript to watch this course? The answer is no. We will cover all the required TypeScript concepts as we progress through this course. Another benefit of using TypeScript as the programming language is that it is fully supported by all these code editors. So you can pick and choose your favorite code editor. In our next video, we'll discuss setting up Angular 2 in Visual Studio. Thank you for listening and have a great day.